Welcome to episode one of Double Trouble, Words with Reduplication. So what are words with reduplication? These are words that have two words repeated or two word sounds that are similar, that are repeated. So for example, you're probably familiar with so-so, maybe hip-hop. These are words of, uh, that are examples of reduplication. Reduplication words can be, make your conversation much more colorful and interesting. So that's the reason you really want to learn them. Instead of saying, my life is boring, you say, my life is humdrum. Doesn't that sound more interesting than boring? So we're going to give you about 10 to 13 words with double trouble in the next three episodes. So you'll have over 40 words to add to your vocabulary. So you'll sound more interesting and more colorful when you speak. So just a final tip, if you really want to lock it into your brain, uh, most of the videos that you're watching, you should probably watch them over and over again. This is a learning principle called spaced repetition. So if you watch a video only once, you realize that you forget 90% of what you learned within 24 hours. So the key is watch the video a second time 24 hours later, then one week later, and then two weeks later. Spaced repetition puts it into your subconscious brain and then it becomes really useful. So let's get started with episode one. To double trouble, reduplication, help you think out of the box and be creative. Hodgepodge, hodgepodge, also spelled as hotchpotch. Usually it's a mixture or concoction. The soup was a hodgepodge of vegetables. It's similar to the next one, which is mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo. It's a mixture of nonsense, meaningless nonsense, rambling about nothing. Politicians use a lot of mumbo jumbo to confuse their listeners. Humdrum or humdrum. Both spellings are correct. Humdrum. Boring and monotonous routine. Jeff lived a very humdrum life. Itsy bitsy. Itsy bitsy. Very small or tiny. The restaurant portions were very itsy bitsy. Another similar word is teeny weeny. Inky dinky, inky dinky, similar to itsy bitsy, something that's very tiny. Children learn the song, the inky dinky spider went up the water spout. Rinky dink, poor quality, shoddy, rinky dink. I bought a low priced mobile phone, but I realized it's rinky dink. Jet set. Jet set. Rich elite class. William and Rita lived a jet set lifestyle. Namby pamby. Namby pamby. Something that is very mediocre, so so. Something that lacks character, is indistinctive. How was dinner at the French restaurant? It was Namby Pamby. Knick knack. Knick knack. Small souvenir. Bric a brac. Useless ornament or keepsake. When Janice went on holiday, she always came back with a sack of knick knacks. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. It's a casual way to say okay or I agree. Want to go have a bite of lunch? Okie dokie. Not to be confused with hokey pokey. Hokey pokey. It's the beginning of a children's song. Let's do the hokey pokey. It starts you put your right hand in, you put your right hand out. Pooper scooper. 
a device for picking up dog excrement, poo. Usually it's a newspaper. If you have a fancy one which you buy in the store, that's a super duper pooper scooper. Super duper. Super duper. Great. Outstanding. Wonderful usually used by kids to express happiness about something. How was your birthday party? It was super duper. Prime time. It's a period of time, usually early evening, when TV viewing is the highest. Downton Abbey hit the highest ratings during prime time. And that's our Double Trouble, Episode 1.